Welcome everyone, I'm Max and I'm here to help you build in Minecraft. Today we're going to be doing easy path designs. As you can see at the back, we've got a nether themed path that I've never shown before in any video. However, these other ones can be quite similar to things I've shown before or been in Labourcraft. So thank you for watching and we'll get straight into the video. If you haven't already watched my staircase design video, go watch that now because this path is very similar to it and can be used both at the same time. As you can see here, I've used waterlog blocks and by using slabs. As you can see, I've got cobblestone and mossy cobblestone put into the floor plus gravel to make a natural fill. I've also got birch and oak leaves on the sides to make it look nice. Remember to use slabs and stair blocks to sort of cover your build and make it look more natural. Most people forget about using bone mill around the path to make it feel more natural, like the leaves. Anyway, we'll move on to the next path now. Alright, as you can see here, I've used oak fences as a border and I've used the bone mill again to create a more natural feel. I've also got coarser gravel, path block and oak planks in the floor to add more texture and make it look nicer. You could also add dirt instead of coarse dirt if you don't know how to get coarse dirt but it looks much better and means that grass won't overgrow on it. Um, yeah. Everything here is quite simple and can be made in the base part of the game when you're just starting out, but still adds quite a bit of decoration. Anyway, this one, you could also add torches to the fences to add more detail and to give some light. As you can see with this one, You've got spruce wood and spruce trap doors with lots of different textures winded into it. On the sides, we've got a nice barrier like the cobblestone and stone stairs that we've used to make that. So we've got stairs and slabs in the floor to add a dip and make it look more run down. But we've also got oak logs that make it just to border it and to also just add a little bit more texture to the build i really like this one actually because it it works in a lot of situations but mainly in like the taiga biomes as you can see i've used bone meal again around the sides just to add a bit more nature and a greener feel to the whole thing remember to mix things like stone and cobblestone to the outside so that you don't get a mixture of blocks that you don't want also to add more texture all right over here we've got the stone smooth stone andesite and like other blocks to go with it as a path as you can see in some spots i've got dips in the part pavement or path or whatever you want to call it to make it feel more natural and broken Remember to use bone mill around all of your parts, apart from the nether one that you can see just on the right. Yes, so we've used a lot of different textures here, all using the same palette. Remember that you want to use the same palette to make all your paths look nice. As you can see, I've also used a lighting technique here. Um, and yeah, that's a good idea for later on. As we move on to the nether path, which is our final path for today, you can see that I've used lots of natural things in the nether. And we've got the blackstone bo blocks and soul soil in the floor, but also soul sand in the ceiling so that you wouldn't slow down. Remember to use a mixture of blocks like gravel and other things like that. As you can see in the walls, I've added a slab and some shroom lights behind it. So you still get a light, but it doesn't take up too much space. This would go well in any sort of nether base um, that you want as a dark hallway. 
All right, as we're in night, you can see the nether pathway at night time. But we're going to go past to show you exactly what you can do when it's night time and how to light up because you don't want mobs killing you when you've got or exploding on your nice paths. That one you can see I've used the lanterns. However, with this one, I didn't actually use anything. But you could put lighting underneath the trapdoors or maybe just add a few lanterns on the sides. Here, like I said before, you could add some more torches to the fences and yeah, just make it light up with torches. I don't think you need lanterns in that situation. Coming up to the last and probably the brightest area, we've got the lanterns and leaves combination, which adds a nice natural feel, especially in the dark, as you can see. Thank you everyone for watching this path design video if you did like all of the paths then remember to leave a like if you didn't then please leave a comment and tell me what you didn't like and how i can improve anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you next time